community, I think about Coney Island Avenue. And you go back, go back to September 11, 2001, a vibrant community. Many businesses, many young people walking the streets. After the September 11th attack, that community was devastated. I reached out to my friends, like Hassan and others. Young people were round up in the middle of the night. I remember standing in front of the federal penitentiary on 31st Street and 3rd Avenue, saying it's unfair, it's wrong what happened to these young people, particularly the young boys. And I was a police officer at the time, and believe me, was a sergeant or lieutenant. And a group of Muslim officers came to me while we were on patrol. And they said, Eric, our wives and daughters are being attacked, wearing the hijab. While we're standing to protect the city of New York, our loved ones and family members are being persecuted. Merely for being Pakistani or merely for being Muslim. And I brought them to my attorney. He started an organization, the Pakistani the Muslim Law Enforcement Society. And we saw that community come back. They thrived and it grew. And you turned your pain into purpose. Instead of saying, woe is me, you said, why not me? You started recruiting and making sure that you came to the police department to show you two love this great city we call New York. And now look at your numbers. One of the largest numbers of Muslim officers in the community coming from the Pakistani community. <laughs> but you didn't stop there. You spoke to the commissioner and our team to say, we want the right to have the call of prayer. You led that pursuit. The commissioner reached out to me and I asked the question, what is in the way? It was bureaucratic. And all of this philosophical reason why we couldn't. And you know what we did? We got it done. You have the right to prayer inside your communities because of what this police department did. But you didn't stop there. You wanted halal food in your schools and you advocated for it. You know what you have? You have halal food in your schools. <laughs> you didn't stop there. You wanted the right to have prayer inside city buildings and governments when you wanted to go to prayer. With Wahi and others leading the way, you have the right to pray inside the schools when it's time to pray, inside the top, inside government buildings when it's time to pray. But you didn't stop there. I was on McDonald Avenue and a group of you came to me and stated that Brother Fallen Officer D did not get in line of duty. I met his wife and children and family members. And it broke my heart that here this a person that served our city was not able to get line of duty benefits so his family would not have to be further injured by the devastating assault. And what happened? I told them that day, I promise you, your loved one will get line of duty. You know what he has? He has line of duty death benefits right now.
Thank you. 